Welcome to another Revolution Pi tutorial. I'm Boris and today I will show you how to use Revolution Pi as a Linux gateway. As you might know, you can use Revolution Pi in a variety of use cases. Revolution Pi is a very powerful PLC where you can connect all types of sensors and actors and talk to most of the field buses available in the industry. It is also quite a powerful HMI solution because you can connect a touchscreen and use it as an input device for your machines. It's also quite a powerful edge controller for this small and cheap device. It has a lot of compute power. And with that, you can use it for a lot of number crunching, complex software, and even small machine learning use cases. And last but not least, it is a capable industrial PC where you can connect your monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, a barcode scanner, and all other types of industrial peripheral hardware. Having said that, let's start with Revolution Pi as an industrial Linux gateway. In order to begin, we first have to connect our Revolution Pi to the power supply. And there you have two options. The first one is the switch cabinet power supply, 24 volts used in most of the switch cabinets. It has just one disadvantage. The disadvantage is you have to work with 110 or 230 volts directly, so you should be a trained electrician. If you use Revolution Pi on your desktop for programming it and for just creating new projects with it, it might be a good idea to use one of these power supplies. Also 24 volts, uh, 2.5 amps, I guess. Yep, correct. And um, this is what we use for desktop use. So there are all, uh, also some connectors for these with open cable ends where you can put them directly into your Revolution Pi. Having said that, I will put them away and we will look at the connectors. Coming over here, we can see there's a small connector down here. And here's where you put in your power supply. 24 volts goes in on the left, zero volts on the right. And if you have an older version, like the version three of the Connect um, or the S or SE, you will need to have a cable bridge between zero volts and the um, watchdog because otherwise the watchdog will keep rebooting the system. If you have a newer one, that's not a problem for you at all. Then we just get in our little connector plug and switch on the power supply. And then the green power indicator tells us everything is great. Then you will see a red light in a second. This means Revolution Pi is booting and starting up. Once we see the green light again, we know our Revolution Pi is booting up and it will be available in the network for a second. What we have to do now is connect it to the network. So we will use a network cable to establish the connection. The second thing that you now have to do is just look at this number down here. The middle number is the serial number of the device. We will need that to connect. And also here on the side, you will see a sticker where you have your usernames and passwords. Write them down, we will need them. In order to connect to the Revolution Pi, we will now need to open a shell window or a DOS box and enter SSH followed by pi at refpi. Now comes the serial number. It's in my case 108647.local. And then we should be able to establish a connection. Now we have to put in the password that we find on the sticker on the side and we are successfully connected to our Revolution Pi. Now that Revolution Pi is up and running as a Linux gateway, we can start installing the software that we want to use. If you want to connect to some cloud, you can now add the cloud connection software for AWS, for Azure, for Cumulosity with the Thin Edge. If you want to install some Docker-based software, go ahead and install Docker and install your containers that you want to use. There are a lot of Raspberry Pi examples that will work straight away on Revolution Pi. And if you want to interface with industrial systems, sensors, or actors, you may use software like Node-RED, Codesys, or even our Python library in order to get access to IOs and field buses. 
Now have a lot of fun with your Revolution Pi as a Linux gateway. See you in the next tutorial.